Hello, I'm Rohan Shah. Today, I'll be showing you what these over here mean. This is probably in your textbook. This is the slope formula that you probably learned in ninth grade. And then there's this ugly beast that you're having to learn in calculus now. What does this mean? Why are they relating the two? Today, I'll make all these things clear for you. First, what is the limit definition of a derivative? Let me tell you a little story that my imaginary friend told me when I was learning calculus. Isaac Newton, who was the founder of calculus, went to the mathematician's senate meeting, which is what they had back then, and he storms into the room and he says, Hey guys, hey guys, guess what? I finally have figured out how to find the derivative, meaning the slope, of this point over here. This is the point, it's on the graph of the function, and I know how to find its slope. Go on. Well, well, you see, uh, you can take this point over here, right? Uh, and then you can take this point over here, right? And then you can, you can average the two, and that'll give you, you know, the slope over there, right? What kind of blasphemy is this? That won't give you the slope, that will give you the average slope. It doesn't have to equal that. Ha 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 ha! Everyone started laughing at him, he started crying, he just stormed out of the room, he went back home, he threw his wig on his bed, he started crying to his wife, his wife got kind of annoyed. Anyways, then he went back to the board. He, just all night, he was just trying to figure out how to find the slope of this guy. And a couple of bottles of whiskey later, he had the answer. The next morning, he runs into the mathematician's senate room, and he says, All right, guys, I have it. Um, if this is f of x, let's call this point x and this point f of x, and let's call this point a, a point that's h units to the right, so it will be x plus h, and this will be f of x plus h. Okay, now what we can do is uh, use the slope formula and do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and that will give us f of x plus h minus f of x over h, because that's the difference between the two uh, x points. Right, guys? Uh, I was the one who invented the slope formula. That's just plagiarism. No, no, no. But what we'll do this time is we will make these two points infinitely close to each other, meaning h goes to zero. And then calculus was born. So this is what you'll see today, and this is precisely the ugly beast that you were afraid of, and so was I. <laughs>